If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know we use a GitHub repo to create a Git pod site using DDEV in Drupal. Now, if that's gibberish to you, don't worry. Keep watching. I'm going to show you a really neat trick where you can save your Drupal sites at any stage of development and keep them or share them with somebody else. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And just like I said a moment ago, one of the coolest things with Gitpod is the ability to share a Drupal site at whatever stage of development you're in. Now, our students use this in a variety of ways. They create a backup at a particular moment in time. Sometimes a student might either get behind in class or completely blow up their site, usually by playing on their own. And that's OK, because I can take a quick snapshot of my own site, give them a link, and as soon as they click on it, that Drupal website is uploaded or shared to their Gitpod, and they can keep taking the class. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so this is DDEV inside of Gitpod, and you can see there's our London City Guide. We've done this site many, many times in our training. And over here on the left is the entire code base. This is Visual Studio Code in a browser. If I click on the hamburger menu up here at the top left, and then click on Gitpod Share Workspace Snapshot, well, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to click on that. Now, it takes a moment, so I'm going to just pause the video until it's done. It usually takes about a minute. All right, that's done. And as I mentioned, it took just about a minute. I'm going to copy that URL to my clipboard. And now I can share that URL with literally anyone, and it'll open up in their Gitpod repo. And of course, you've got to be signed into Gitpod to do this, but let me show you how it works. I'll open a brand new browser. It's going to instantly add this DDEV site to my Gitpod repo, and I'm all set to go. Now, again, it, this takes just a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video until it's done. And there we are. Once again, less than a minute. If I open in a browser, here is the copied version of the site that I was working on. So if I head over to all of my workspaces, you're going to see there's the original, and there's the copy I just added right at the position in the class whenever I click Share. Of course, if this was somebody else's, it would show up in theirs exactly the same way, and it would, from that moment on, of course, become their website. So I know this is a bit of a specific tip today, but many of you have said how awesome this Gitpod setup is for building Drupal sites and playing and learning Drupal. So I wanted to share that with you because it's something we use a lot in training. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We release a new video every week. We'd love you to subscribe, give it a like. I'll see you next time.